Hey everybody, today I want to show you my favorites from 2011 and I have a ton. I really didn't know where to set my camera to film this because my whole makeup area is covered with stuff so this is probably going to be a long video. So anyways I'm going to go ahead and get started and this is in no particular order. First of all I am going to show you guys the absolute favorite lotions or set from Bath and Body Works that I love and loved in 2011 and you've seen these in another one of my favorites videos so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and this is from the True Blue Spa collection at Bath and Body Works and the first thing is the Shea Cashmere Body Cream this stuff smells amazing you will smell like a vanilla birthday cake literally if you use this stuff and I've gone through a ton of these I just got a new one um, for the new year, but if you look at my past favorites videos, I show this I think in like one or two of them So I like this and then also the Shea Cashmere um, body lotion and Then I also have the Shea Cashmere shower cream for the shower and then also the Shea Cashmere fragrance mist so that is what I love from my lotions Okay guys, now on to brushes. I'm gonna show you my favorite brushes. The first one is the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. And it looks like this. And that is what it is. This is an amazing powder brush. I cannot tell you, it is super soft. It really puts on my powder flawlessly. So I love that. And then the Sigma Angled Top Kabuki brush. And so you guys can see this is amazing and this is part of their Sigmax collection I have the whole face kit um, and I love it but this is my favorite brush out of all of them so I love that I'm kind of putting my brushes back as I show you and then I'm also loving the Sigma tapered blending e40 which looks like this and there you go and I love this for applying my highlight. Fits perfect. Love that brush. And then for MAC brushes, these are brushes I think you should invest in if you can. Oops, wait, I have one more Sigma brush. And this is the Sigma Blending E35 brush. And looks like that. And this is very good for blending your eyeshadow and whatnot. Now to MAC brushes, the MAC brushes, sorry my daughter's awake so you guys are going to hear her laughing and playing and everything but for MAC brushes, these brushes I think are really good to invest in because they're just awesome and that is the MAC 217 brush. Amazing. This is good for packing on color, for blending. You can use this brush for so many different things. It's amazing. And then the MAC 23. 239 brush. I love it. And I have a lot of MAC brushes, but these are my favorite. Looks like that. And this is good for packing on color, going underneath the eye. It's just, you can use this for a lot of different things as well. And then for MAC brush, another one that is really good is the MAC um, 130 brush. And this is the stippling brush. And it looks like that. And it's a mini stippling brush. This is really good for contouring, for putting on highlight. Or you can also use it for foundation as well. But I mainly use it for contouring and for doing highlighting. So that is what I, my favorites and what I suggest for brushes. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to highlighters. And... I wanted to just go ahead and show you all my favorite powder highlighters. I was actually asking my friend Nicole, Envy Makeup Lover, here on YouTube. I told her I love the Laura Geller one I have, but I love the Mary Luminizer. And she goes, well, which one do you like more? And of course I like the Mary Luminizer, but I barely started using that towards the end of 2011. But I'm going to include it anyways because it is my favorite right now by far over the Laura Geller. But the first one is the Laura Geller. And this is the Blush and Brighten in Como and Portofino. And let me just show you 
It is amazing. It's supposed to be a blush and a highlighter, but I mix the two together and it gives a fabulous highlight. I mean, it's just really, really pretty. And then another one, I'm going to show you this one too because I love it. It's Max Soft and Gentle. It is fabulous as well. It's not as bright. It's more of like a soft highlighter. So if you want a soft, I'll put it It's right there. They look pretty similar. And then the Mary Luminizer, of course, by The Balm. This is my absolute favorite right now, and you will see why. First of all, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer, but there it is on my finger. Look at that. It's amazing. And I will put that. That is right there. Amazing. And then this is an eyeshadow, and this is from Max Holiday Collection, and it is in the color Snow Season. But I use it for highlighter. I love it. It is amazing, fabulous. I, I use it as an eyeshadow, but I also use it as a highlighter. You want to see that? Really, really pretty. And then I'll swatch that. And that is that one right there. So really good powder highlighters. And then there's another one by Pari Beauty. And I don't know what to call this. This is like a cream slash um, powder highlighter, I guess. And let me open it up and show you. It feels like cream, but then it goes on as like a powder. Can't explain it. Check that out. And I will just, I'm trying to find places to swatch. That is that one right there. See that? Uh, amazing. Okay, now I also do have some um, cream or liquid highlighters that I really, really love. And I'm just going to show you them. I'm not going to swatch them. So the first one, and this is a little sample. I haven't even gone through it yet. It's halfway. And I mix this with my foundation. It's the NARS Orgasm. And I haven't gone out to buy a full size because I still have that one. And then also the MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. These are amazing. And then the e.l.f. Body Shimmer. This is supposed to be a body shimmer stick, but I use it as a highlighter on my face. Um, let me put some right here because it is just fabulous. I love that. And then this has been getting a lot of bad reviews. I like it. It works well on me. I'll put it on my cheek as a highlight, then set it with a highlighting powder, and that's the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette. I'm just going to show you that. And now I want to show you guys um, the primers that are my favorite from 2011, and that would be Max Painterly Paint Pot. This is my all-time favorite for 2011, and I know it's going to be for 2012 too. I just love it. This is a new one because I went through one for the whole year. So this pretty much will last me almost all of 2012. So I love Max Painterly Paint Pot. That is my fave. And then the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I also use the Too Faced, but that isn't my fave, so that's why I did not include it. Oh, you guys, I almost forgot. For a highlight, again, what I have been loving, it is a pigment. It's from MAC, and it's called Melon. And I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't want to spill it. That's what it looks like. Let me swatch a little bit. I use this as a highlight, okay? I've used it as a shadow, too, but I think it is just... Fabulous! And my friend Lisa, Lisa Loves Mac, actually gave me this. And see, it's really pretty. So Max Pigment in Melon, check it out, go out and get it. And then speaking of eyeshadows, I am loving, another pigment that I'm loving is Max Vanilla. Amazing, amazing, love that. And then for single shadow is Max um, Black Tide. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a black, what time is it? Two minutes, okay. Black, sparkly, black color. It is amazing, fabulous. And then for single shadows, I've been loving Max Sweet Satisfaction. 
And I don't think I'm going to show you guys the names. I'm just going to show you guys the colors and just tell you who they're by. But this is amazing. And then also Max Make Your Mark, which is a really gorgeous chocolatey brown color. And then I have also been loving, oh, this is a cream shadow by Benefit. And this is in the color Birthday Suit. It's a creaseless cream shadow slash liner. I love, love, love this stuff. And I know I'm gonna be using it this year as well. And then for a aqua cream, I'm loving Makeup Forever's aqua cream. And this is a number one. I have other ones, but this one is just fabulous. It's like a gun metal gray. It's just awesome. And I need to get some of the neutral ones because I don't have any neutrals. I have like darks. Oh, also, um, from Luminous, their pigments. I am loving Luminous's pigments in Glamorous. They're really sparkly pigments. You can't see this one really well. It's a very, very light pigment. It looks like that. Very glittery. They remind me of Makeup Forever's um, Diamond Dust. I think that's what they're called. I don't own one of them, but I have swatched a few. And then um, Luminesce's Millionaire, which is really, I don't want to spill it, really glittery and sparkly as well. So I love, love those. So from Luminous Air, I love their translucent powder. It is amazing. And with any translucent powder, as long as you put it on correctly, you will not get that white glow in pictures as long as you know how to apply it. But I love that. Like I said, you guys, I'm not going in any kind of order. I'm just kind of picking. As far as palettes that I was loving in 2011, I love the um, Wet n Wild Comfort Zone Comfort Zone Palette. Love, love that. And this is a new one. My other one broke, so I had to get a new one. And then the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. Loved this. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Love that. Also the, of course, Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I actually was fortunate enough to get it when it had the double-ended 24-7 liners. But yes, love this. And my most absolute favorite palette of 2011, sorry guys, I'm still kind of sick so I'm a little bit out of breath, is the Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. I cannot tell you, I use this like a ton. I love it, I really love the colors. And then of course my MAC Quad, I actually picked the colors that I wanted to go in this and um, I'll show you. My favorite is Cork. This is my favorite eyeshadow of the year. Cork and then there's Brulee for a natural look and then you have um, Carbon and then Print on the top for a nice smoky eye. And then my last palette that I loved is the Urban Decay 15 year anniversary palette. So that's all as far as palettes.